Maybe. So, Dave, how does it feel to be beautifying Melrose Park? Great, great. I actually use this station uh, many times uh, weekly when I go to work. Uh -huh. And I'm walking by, and I'm going to walk by and see all these beautiful flowers. So, and know that I was part of it. Oh, that's rewarding, isn't it? Once in a while. And maybe I'll bring a watering can with me. So, what is this, uh, Venus uh, flytrap marigold? Or, uh, uh, this is a... Um, it, it, yeah, I think so. <laughs> is that what it is? I had wondered. Ricky, I don't know. Ricky would know. It's a marigold. It's a, a marigold. It's a marigold. Ma a marigold. Marigold What type yeah. is it? I don't, don't think it. Okay. <laughs> Marigolds repel what? Deer? I think so. Maxine. Insect. You live in this nearby house, right? You live right there? I live in Maxine, who lives right here in Matt Morris Park House, holding down the fort. Holding down the fort. And beautifying the whole station. Here, here we are, the farmsteading couple from Melrose Park, Roberta and Michael. How's it going here on the old homestead in uh, Septa Station? We're doing a great job. I think you really see this year, too, how well we've done the past couple of years because there are a lot fewer weeds than there were. So by keeping up with it every year, we're doing a wonderful thing. Oh, and, and that tulip might have been something you planted or yonder yeah. in a prior year, right? Right, this is Columbine. This is a beautiful perennial plant. It comes back, as you can tell, all over the place from seeds. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting some of the plants that are, have volunteered uh -huh. kind of everywhere and putting them together in a mass group because when they, they bloom, they're going to be beautiful pink and yellow. It's going to be pretty. Oh, it's aesthetic wonderland. It is. It is, and we enjoy it every time we come here. Definitely. And how about you, Michael? How are you doing? Yeah. All right, Albert. I defer to my garden maven over here who... Has it all to say and says it all. Yeah, but you're happy to be here helping out this morning. Okay, well, you got the pitchfork, you guys are uh, the regular American Gothic. Yes, sir. Okay, see you next year. Absolutely. Here we have uh, Barb Duffy, who's EAC. Explain that. Environmental Advisory Council, and I'm the chair of the Water and Ecology uh, Committee. Fantastic. And we helped to organize all these Earth Day events today there's nine of them going on around the township wow nine one of them. terrific okay and uh ricky who has masterminded our annual birthday <laughs> yes takes all the grief and all the uh, planning and uh what you got there snap dragons oh they're Beautiful. lovely dragons yes yes melrose park neighbors pays for everything to be put in and these are our volunteers Mm -hmm. Every year, we have a great volunteer tour for Earth Day. It's a beautiful yeah. thing, and you advance the funds out of your own pocket, mm -hmm. and then we... And Michael repays me when he wants to. It's a system. <laughs> it works. It works. Okay, thank right. you. Sure. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Michael. We're here at the Melrose Park train station for the Melrose Park Neighbors Association oh. Annual Cleanup thank and Planting. How many, how many years have we been doing this now? Uh, more than I can recollect, but I'd say at least 15. Yes. At least a decade and a half, I'd say, Michael, there. And uh, do you personally use the train station here? Uh, I see my dear wife off every Wednesday morning, and when I do, my heart throbs as I see the loveliness. Not just her, but I mean the flowers. Yes, indeed. And so it's actually a great pleasure to be part of the community. I feel like it's more of a community day than just about anything else we do. And it's, it's wonderful just to get in the sun and work with your fellow uh, Melrosers. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And here we have a champion Melrose horticulturist named Hannah Russo. And how's it going today? Gorgeous day. Happy to be of service. How do you feel about Melrose Park? It's the only place to live. <laughs> That's yeah, give me an M. M! <laughs> All right, we won't go through the whole stick. Wonderful project, wonderful neighborhood. Mm hmm. And we're making it prettier, right? <laughs> it's gorgeous already. This is just icing. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, thanks for coming out. Okay. okay, see you next time. Here we are with two stalwarts, Phil Cates and Dan Norris. How do you feel about Working on Melrose Park. Well, I'm enjoying it. It's a gorgeous day out. It uh, beats trying to do uh, stuff around the house that I'm not qualified to do. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad to be here on the birthday, and it's another great effort by the Melrose Park Neighbors Association. Well, thank uh, you. The train station looks great due to your efforts. 
Yeah, we've been trying it, especially with with Ricky, who never ceases to work yeah. and never ceases to amaze. Right, Ricky? Okay. Thanks, guys. You shall be world famous. Patrice Steigerwald at it again, beautifying Stratford, Stratford Garden, Garden, right? Yes, and it's a pleasure working with all our neighbors. This is Hannah Russo. Yeah. Pamela Cates is down there. Right. Yeah. It's a, beautiful a garden. tight knit group we have here, especially yes. on this street, wouldn't yep. you say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody donated money so we can uh, buy plants. And oh. Pamela did a lot of the work. So. You passed the the kitty and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah. And we asked all the neighbors. And actually, as the neighbors are walking by, they've been offering to donate money now. Oh, how sweet. So, yeah, That's so, great. So, so and this is the result of several years of work, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. And uh -huh. our neighbor Ann just went to buy more plants so we could put them in. No kidding. So, yeah, so we're, we're a good team. Thanks to Thanks you to guys you. and Melrose Park Neighbors Association. Yes. yes. And Pam Wexford came all the way from Ireland <laughs> to plant. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was some trip, right, Pam? <laughs> She's Pam, exhausted. Pam, could you face the camera and tell us, how does it feel to work with your neighbors? Absolutely lovely. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic, really thank you.